Hello. Well, it's 12.30 now, and it's 9-11, September 11th. I was just reflecting on 21 years ago where I was on 9-11. Just getting ready to go to work that day because I was working at Richmond State School as a direct care assistant. And I was getting my daughter ready. She was two. Anybody knows two-year-olds are not easy at that age. My daughter, Roxanne, now she's 22 and I couldn't be more proud of her. And I was three and a half months pregnant with my son, Colton. And I remember watching the airplane go in the buildings and holding on to my two-year-old and with my other hand holding my stomach thinking what have we done what's going on in total disbelief because you don't want to believe America is under fire you don't want to believe that as an American that you're in danger and I remember taking my kids to my grandma and going to work and the whole place was like having new rules and, and everything just changed for a while there. But I can honestly say that it's a reminder of how we need to love each other and how instead of everybody looking for a divide, white, black, or Democrat, Republican, liberal, or whatever name you want to call it, we need to have one name. We need to have America. We need to all be Americans first to each other. We all need to be decent human beings to one another. Because that's where our founding fathers would have wanted. And that's what we should want for our children. And so we have to live that way to show our children how to be. We need to quit dividing. We need to start coming together as a family. Because we can't have no more 9-11s. Anyway, I just had to get my little piece out about 9-11. I just think we all need to be coming together as Americans. And it really doesn't matter at the end of the day about anything else other than all of us are safe and our children are safe. And we're protected. And the next time you see a veteran or someone in the military or a police officer, or a firefighter, or somebody that works in the medical industry. You need to tell them thank you. Because every day they wake up and they're doing something for someone else. I know I thank them. And because without them, well, where are we going? Anyway, this was just a little rant and rave. Mostly just me just talking about 9-11 and how blessed we are to uh, have the last 21 years and enjoying our freedoms. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.